on regulation and who's going to choose to be regulators. How do we address the fact that we've got a market moving president? I mean, Martha Stewart went to jail over lying about timing and information that she had. You know, insider trading is a big, big deal. And we have someone who can send out a tweet and move a stock in seconds. Right. And let's be clear. There are a lot of giant corporations right now who are just rubbing their hands saying that what's coming for them is that the cops are going to be taken off the beats, that there's going to be less regulation, and that they're going to get even more tax breaks. So they think the world looks pretty great with Donald Trump out there. And every time he sends a tweet, they're just happier than they were the day before. But that rising stock market covers a lot of other problems around this country. Incomes are not going up for working families, but expenses are. Students trying to get an education are taking on an additional $100 billion in debt to try to get that education every single year. The seniors are retiring with it, 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 Social Security for many of them as the only thing that stands between them and poverty and Social Security stay stuck at much too low a level. It, it, the way I look at this is, yes, it's true. We're setting records in the stock market. GDP keeps going up. And those are important economic indicators of how America's economy is doing. But they're not all of the indication about what's happening. We need to look at the lived experience, family by family, across it, this country. Is there room, though, for you to possibly change your position or open your mind somewhat as it relates to corporate America? We know how tough you've been on corporate America, but corporations do hire. They do help people. And we're looking at the way people voted, and maybe there's a line in the middle. Look. I am all in favor of corporations making a profit, so long as they're not doing it by cheating their customers. I'm all in favor of corporations flourishing in this company, country, but I think they ought to have to pay their fair share in taxes. A market without rules, a market without a cop on the beat, may produce some extraordinary profits for a handful of giant corporations, but it will not make this economy work overall and ultimately will not produce the kind of competitive market that really makes capitalism grow in this country. I want corporations to do well. I just want them to follow the rules and frankly, I just don't think that's too unreasonable. That's fair. All right. I want to bring